Hi for this afternoon. Anthony, things got off to a, a wet start this morning, oh, yeah. but every hour seems to get a little bit better out there. Yeah, it's actually gotten a little bit brighter over the last couple of hours too, Richard. All that rain has pushed off to our south, and we're going to continue to clear up those skies as we go through the rest of this evening. Now, this is the current view outside over our building here at Riverwatch and I-20. We can really see those clouds starting to break apart, so we actually should get in on some clearing skies as we go through later on this evening, but those clear skies will lead to some cooler temperatures by the morning. For now, we're at about 64 degrees here in Augusta really can see all that rainfall to our south northern sections of Florida actually seeing some strong to severe weather as that storm system gets a little bit closer to Jacksonville, Florida. But again, here in the CSRA, we are on the drier side. Even some of our northwestern counties now seeing some sunnier skies as that cloud deck continues to slide off to the southeast. So we're going to see more clear skies later on this evening. Dry as we go through the rest of tonight as well as through the entire day tomorrow. It's until we get to Sunday morning where those rain chances will start their inch their way back up ever so slightly. So any plans for this weekend? Saturday looks to be the day to do anything outdoors. If you do want to do anything inside on Sunday, that's going to be a pretty good setup there. Tonight we're going to talk about those temps getting into the lower 50s, low 50s by about 11 o'clock, and there you can see those skies starting to clear out a little bit more. Now those temps are going to continue to fall all the way to the upper 30s as we go through tomorrow morning. About 39 degrees here in Augusta. We'll see sunny skies for the first half of the morning, then those clouds slowly but surely starting to work their way into the CS or right by the afternoon. Afternoon highs are going to be closer to about 66 degrees, which is a few degrees shy of those average temperatures. So below average temp, the, that trend, that's going to continue as we go through the weekend as well as through a good majority of next week. Now we're not done with the rainfall just yet. We're talking about a few more showers possible as we go through the day on Sunday, especially Sunday morning, and then uh, starting to die things off as we go through Sunday afternoon through early Monday morning. Let's bring out the hour by hour forecast starting the clock midnight on Sunday. Going through the early morning hours of Sunday, you see a few scattered showers there. Temperatures are going to be into the upper 40s, and then we are going to see those temps uh, continue to warm back to the 60s by the afternoon. Notice that rainfall, though, starting to break apart as we get closer to 2, 3 o'clock. A few scattered showers left over as that front moves through the region, and by Monday morning, we're drying things out and going to bring back the sunshine for the afternoon. Let's take a look at the model comparison between the American and the European models. Both of them do agree that we'll likely see rainfall totals over a half an inch. We're still debating a little bit for who gets closer to an inch, maybe an inch and a half. The European model does favor just a little bit more rainfall in some of our western counties. Now, once we move past the weekend, we're talking about some cooler temperatures. This is going to be from an upper level trough that will actually dig in some cooler temperatures into the CSRA, especially waking up on Wednesday morning. Could actually see some patchy frost with temperatures into the lower 30s. So if you've already planted those uh, garden plants, just make sure you have those frost blankets on standby. We always like to say for this time of year, just wait a few more weeks if you can. A couple more weekends and you should be good to go as far as planting all those things in the backyard. Over the next seven days, don't forget this weekend, we're springing forward, losing an hour of sleep, but gaining an hour of daylight. Sunset on Sunday, 733. A woman in